we love our trees. They provide our yards with so much beauty and shade, and they're great for the environment. But when's the last time you checked yours? We've come to meet certified arborist. This is Rob Cracker. He's with the Davy Tree Company, and you got some great tips for homeowners. Yeah, definitely some uh, different parts of the tree that you want to keep an eye on and you want to start with the upper canopy, the, the leaves, and you go to the branches, then you go to the trunk, then you go to the root system. All those are very critical parts of the tree that you need to keep an eye on. Fantastic. Well, let's take a look at this beautiful tree. You tell me that the trunk of this tree may cause some homeowners issues. Yes, so normally when you're walking around your yard, your uh, kind of your first visual sign is the trunk because that's eye level. Uh, the biggest thing on that is you want to check for any damage or like mechanical damage. Let's say a mower hits the tree or something like that. And then you also want to check for included unions, anything that would be a potential issue because of growth habits of, of that tree. What kind of tree is this? This is a white pine. And so the way that it's growing up, sort of like with the, the trunk going in a yeah. V shape. It's a co-dominant stem, yep. That can potentially cause the tree to eventually fall. Those are unions that you want to keep an eye on uh, after storms and things like that. Not every co-dominant stem is going to fail. It's just something to keep an eye on. A lot of folks have hackberry trees in their yard, but this one you have some concern about. Yes, there's definitely some decline in the upper canopy to where it's not a full canopy of leaves. So I'm starting at looking at the leaves and then I'm looking at the limbs and I'm seeing some dead limbs, pretty major dead limbs up in that upper canopy. That's telling me there's either damage on the trunk or there's damage on the root system. It's not getting the nutrients it needs. So then I do further investigation as I'm looking at that tree. So, but there is treatments that you could, could help that tree get better, or is it totally a lost cause? Depending on the issue that's affecting that tree. Okay. So, uh, depending if it's a root issue, there are things that we can do to fix that root issue. If it's a trunk issue, we can fix that. If it's an if it's a pest issue, like an insect, there's issue there's things that we can do to fix that. So it just depends on exactly you know further investigation. Would, would allow us to kind of see how to proceed. That willow oak, I love the, the color of the leaves, but you say it's got some possible damage to it. Yes, it's definitely showing with the yellowing of the leaf uh, and you know the decline in the upper, upper canopy. It's called chlorosis, so which is a deficiency in nutrients, which then I would actually look at the soil and you know fertilization and potentially adding some nutrients for that to kind of help those leaves you know, be at the color that they need to be. A good, healthy tree. And speaking of a good, healthy tree, mm -hmm. this one is one, and look at those leaves. Yes, the, you know, looking at a healthy tree, you wanna, you wanna balance, uh, you know, 360 degree canopy um, full of leaves. You, you want a healthy, straight trunk. Uh, some trees can be, you know, the trunk doesn't necessarily have to be straight. Um, and then a nice root flare at, at the base. That's saying that it's getting plenty of nutrients from the roots and you have a, a, a very healthy uh, tree as it grows. Very good tips. Rob, thank you. I've yeah. loved all these tips and hopefully you've got some information you can use. And if you'd like to get in touch uh, with Rob and the folks over at the Davy Tree Company, we'll make sure we put all their information on our website at nichechannel5.com.